coming back today with my next top 10. And today I wanted to do my top 10 most hated college basketball teams. So after this, it only leaves one uh, league left for me to do my top 10 most hated teams. But anyway, I've already done college football. Uh, there's going to be some resemblances, but not really too many. They're two different sports with two different groups of uh, um, college powers. So uh, there obviously will be differences. So start at number 10, and I've got the Syracuse Orange. And now you don't... You probably don't understand this rivalry unless you live in the Northeast or have spent time around the Northeast or ACC territory. It's just because when you're in an area of that country when where there's really only one big power, maybe besides UConn, um, there's a lot of there's a lot of hate for it. There's a lot of love for it. It's the same theme coming back to that, and just really across the entire ACC, Syracuse has become a big rival. I don't know if it's stemming from Jim Beheim or what. Um, he's a pretty likable. I think he's a pretty likable coach, but also it's kind of funny when he gets beat, so uh, there's that to take into account, I guess, also. So, at number nine, I got a team that probably would be higher on this list if I had done it oh, 15, 20 years ago, um, but that is the Georgetown Hoyas. So, Georgetown's a program that used to be a power. Uh, it really isn't anymore. They're a tournament team sometimes now, um, but really, they're just, they, they've going to the level of being one of the better mid-major schools out there from being a really college basketball power like they were in the 1980s, early 90s also. But also, this is a team that had that still has a vast amount of hate for it up um, around the D.C., Maryland area. This is a team that, like I said, has kind of fallen off, so the hate's kind of fallen off as well. But I think a lot of the uh, old-timers uh, that still have a lot of, a lot, I guess a lot of blood left in the uh, old Big East rivalries. I uh, could understand this definitely for sure. Anyway, move on to number eight. I've got the Arizona Wildcats, and this is one of the newer ones. I think that Arizona might be the most hated team in the Pac-12. Uh, UCLA's kind of fallen off, obviously, in the last cut or in the last 10, 15 years, and Arizona's kind of taken their place as the best team or the best powerhouse in the back in the Pac-12, and. Regardless, if you're talking about California, Arizona, um, Colorado, there's a lot of states where Arizona is one of the most hated teams, and it's just because they're good. Uh, they're good. The fan base cares more about uh, basketball than really anything. The football team's gotten pretty good, but it's still a basketball school for sure, and uh, obviously you still got the blood rivalry between them and Arizona State, and like I said, on the West Coast, this might, this might actually be the most hated team. Um, Anyway, move on to number seven. I've got the Ohio State Buckeyes, and while Ohio State's obviously not as big of a basketball school as they are as a football school, it still brings the name Ohio State, which means uh, pretty much every other Big Ten state outside of Ohio hates hates them. Um, you got all the people that just don't like the school of Ohio State just because of uh, their national recognition just in pretty much every sport. And again, it, it comes along with the territory of being one of the most loved and hated schools in the country. And that does stem into basketball. And like I said, while they're not as high on this list as they are in football, they're still high up because it still rings the name of Ohio State. So at number six, I've got the Indiana Hoosiers. Now, Indiana's actually having somewhat of a bounce back year after really about five, six years of uh, mediocrity under Tom Crean and I like that they're getting their feet or foot back under them but this is a team that does a lot of things that a lot of people might find obnoxious whether it goes from the pin or the uh, pinstripe candy cane stripe whatever you want to call it uh, warm-ups to the over or really to the fans over hyping how good their team is actually every year uh, to just being a college basketball power in history there's a lot of reasons why there's hate for the Hoosiers and I think those are really the main reasons. So at number five, I get the Michigan Wolverines. And uh, again, this is very similar to Ohio State where it just rings the brand name of Michigan. Still a big basketball school. Uh, like I said, mainly a football school, but it's kind of evened out over the last couple of years since the football program's kind of flat or flattened out a little bit. I mean, obviously it's picking back up right now and it looks like it's transitioning back into a football school. But this is a school that's still very big with basketball, going all the way back to uh, the Big Three, or actually I think it was more of the Big Five. Uh, the freshman class, uh, Jalen Rose. Um, Jesus Christ, I'm drawing blanks here. Anyway, um, yeah, so 
Going all the way back then, Michigan's a team that uh, a lot of people like to watch lose. It doesn't matter what the sport is, but if it sports the blue and gold with Wolverines on it, then a lot of people, especially in Big Ten country and mainly Ohio, even a lot of parts of Michigan, if they're, if they're a Sparty fan, um, like to see Michigan lose. So number four, and moving into the really big basketball powers of the current day here, and I've got the UNs there, but uh, continuing my explanation with the Tar Heels, not the most hated team in North Carolina, I don't think, but this is still a team that has formed some very big rivalries with a lot of teams, including, in my opinion, the biggest one in basketball with Duke and UNC. Uh, UNC and Virginia has become a pretty massive one as well. Uh, obviously, UNC and NC State. Um, when Maryland was in the ACC, but this is just a team that a lot of people like to beat. It's one of the biggest powers in basketball now and just of all time in general. And when you're that big a power, again, a lot of love, a lot of hate. So at number three, got the Kansas Jayhawks. And um, you'll see when I, I'll post the map of the most hated teams is probably the thumbnail. So the Kansas Jayhawks kind of span all over Big 12 country and are the most hated team from Texas to Oklahoma to Missouri. Um, and it spans on from there. They are obviously one of the best teams, or one of the biggest powers of all time, and uh, definitely a basketball school. It's just, you, they're, they're very isolated in the middle part of the country when it comes to uh, you know, being a huge power. They're not, obviously Duke and UNC are grouped very close together uh, within the same part of a state, but Kansas just, they're, they have a lot of they have a lot of span for hate just because they've been so dominant in Big 12 play. Um, obviously, you've got that blood rivalry between Kansas and Missouri that hasn't been uh, played since I believe like 2012. But um, the hate's still very much there, and like I said, it stems from having a lot of love and a lot of hate when you're that good. And number two, I've got the Kentucky Wildcats, and now there's another team in the state that could have been on this list, and that's Louisville. Uh, Louisville's kind of been an afterthought in the state of Kentucky. They are a basketball power in my mind, but uh, the teams are in two different conferences, and to me, Kentucky just, it's a team that everyone kind of likes to see lose if you're not a Kentucky fan. It's a team that's picked a lot of times. I mean, it seems like over the last 10 years, they, they've been a common national title pick every single year. Uh, last year was definitely no exception. Uh, this year they're starting to heat up really at the right time. It was a brutal start to the year for them. But again, I've said the same explanation for pretty much all these teams. When you're loved as much as this, you're also hated. Again, it's a basketball school. It's one of the biggest basketball powerhouses in the country, if not the biggest right now. And when you've got that big a brand name, then people are going to want to see you fail. It's just like the underdog. It's the underdog mentality of America when it comes to sports. People like watching the underdog win. So at number one, I've got the, uh, pretty obvious at this point, Duke Blue Devils. So Duke is actually one of my favorite teams. I've got my Duke hat right next to me. Um, but I can, I mean, I, I guess I kind of understand the hate. Uh, there's, if you guys haven't watched the documentary, I Hate Christian Leitner, the 30 for 30, I'm assuming a lot of you have, especially if you're watching this video. It's a very good one. It, uh, it kind of outlines the, origins of the hate for Duke and while it makes sense a lot of times a lot of times it kind of doesn't it seems like there'd be more reasons to hate other teams in college basketball um, there's a couple things it's the entitlement of the fans it's the entitlement of the school in general uh, it's the rivalries they formed again the blood rivalry with UNC probably the biggest in college basketball um, they do have a big rivalry with NC State and Wake Forest as well uh, UVA uh, there's a lot of teams Duke Michigan uh, has tend to kind of form a rivalry every every couple of years. Seems like there's a, a lot at stake whenever those two teams meet up and play. Duke Maryland was a big one as well. And now they are moving into being actually pretty good at football, not not being a sole basketball school anymore. This is a school that's gotten actually pretty good at some other sports. Their um, baseball is not really their thing. I'm not too sure about women's sports, but as far as men's sports go, I know that Football has obviously picked up since David Cutcliffe got there. Lacrosse has been good there for a while. And um, really, it's just, no matter what the sport, it seems like Duke doesn't get that much public press or good positive press is what I was looking for. 
And it stems back to the Duke lacrosse thing. Christian Leitner was obviously the most, uh, I, I'm assuming while he was in college, the most hated player in America. He um, owned that. He actually loved that. And it has stemmed on for a long time. It seems like there's always one white Duke player that's hated. It's Grayson Allen right now. Um, he didn't help his case with the tripping stuff. It was J.J. Reddick a couple years ago, Kyle Singler a couple years ago. Um, you know, the list can go on. But anyway, this is actually, Jaleel Okafor was more of that guy last year, but uh, he wasn't really that hated. Anyway, uh, that concludes my list of the top ten most hated college basketball teams. And one that's a little bit harder to talk about than the college football just be, or than college football just because it's not as popular. But there's also a lot more set powers in basketball right now than there is in football. But yeah, that concludes my video. And tomorrow might be coming back with the NHL one to round out the series. But anyway, that's pretty much it. So yeah. The A team's also done the NFL and college football versions of this. And I'll probably round it out with doing every single uh, professional sport and then also college basketball. But anyway, like I said, come back today with NBA and uh, start off with number 10. I've got the Oklahoma City Thunder, so 